Hey everybody, it's Jennifer from PopPieGirl.com and ReverseAttackMarketing.com. I am back again today with another video lesson. Hopefully this one will be quicker. But I thought this is a really neat tip for finding keywords when you are an affiliate marketer. Um, mainly, in my case, this applies to those that are promoting Amazon pr products. Um, but I imagine you can twist this or tweak it to work with whatever you're promoting. Uh, one of the most important skills we can learn as an affiliate marketer online is how to target what is called uh, keywords that have commercial intent. Uh, those phrases and things that people type in towards the end of their buying cycle when they're ready to buy. I mean, there's there's words people type in just to get information, um, you know, the lookers, the tire kickers, and then there's ways people type things in that imply that they are ready to buy and we want to be able to target them and we also want to feel good that we are promoting products that people are really buying online <clears throat> a lot of peak times with uh, Amazon affiliates you know you get a lot of clicks from lookers but you're not converting that traffic into sales so by combining uh, commercial intent keywords with products that people are really buying online you can come out much better in your conversion rate and your overall earnings. Now this page you're looking at right here is from a great keyword guide that is online, Keyword Research. It's free, I'll give you a link to it at the bottom, but this part, chapter specifically, is about commercial intent keywords. There is a site online that there is no telling how many people use to find and compare prices on products they're looking for. And you'd like to think when people are at a place to compare prices that they're really close to buying, if not ready to buy. They're just looking for the best price. And that site is called thefind.com. I'll link to that also. Um, one of the cool things this site has is if you scroll to the bottom of the home page, they have their site map link. And it brings you to a page like this, which is all their different um, categories and there's a ton and you can get a ton of great ideas in here because if they have a category for it people are looking for it um, they don't make all this money and be such a successful site by not knowing what people want uh, but if you click one of these for example I click the backpacks one and you get more interesting information this is all different uh, subcategories of <clears throat> their backpacks category and this she's this right here I could be busy with this for a week I mean there's no telling how many RAM campaigns I can make just from this information but again if you just click something in this case I chose to click laptop like laptop backpack and I got to this page on the find which just gives me some ideas of products that's just one example but there is a ton of information <clears throat> in their sitemap and category pages. They also show you some popular searches in the same overall category of apparel, which is also a wealth of information. But the really, really, really cool thing the find has is their hot searches page. Now, I can't seem to find uh, a definitive answer on whether how often this is updated. Uh, some places seem to indicate it's updated every week. Uh, other ones seem to indicate it's uh, updated once a month. But regardless, these are searches that their users are searching the find.com for the most. <clears throat> and again, if they're comparing prices on a site and typing something in, they're really looking to buy that particular product. And if you can turn that product keyword into, uh, you know, a buyer commercial intent, you could do very, very well. Um, one I clicked, well, let me, before I move on, you can click each of these orange subcategories. They have apparel, shoes and accessories, seasonal, and then a couple pages of more. But if you click these, you get a whole lot more from that one department. Um, I just, out of an example, I clicked this one that said Keen Shoes and it brought me to this page and because I am an Amazon affiliate I uh, isolated it <clears throat> to just Amazon.com results and that way all I saw was their offerings from Amazon to give me an idea 
of, you know, does Amazon even sell these and price points, things of that nature. Then I just took this keyword right here that the find told me is a, uh, a hot keyword and I popped it into my keyword tool and let it do its work real quick and then I just sort it by SEO power best to worst and take a look and well this one right here keen steel toe boots that one will be a juicy one if you follow my reverse attack marketing method you know that that is one right there that would definitely interest me one other little step that I take is I uh, use the Mozbar plugin for my Google search results so I would head on over to Google and type in the keyword I'm looking at and scroll down and I look at these bars here mainly the red to see um, well the red here this PA is page authority and over here is domain authority this is how strong the page is that's ranking and this is how strong the overall domain is that the page sits on but I look at the red and I'm like ah let's see are they really optimizing for this you know, yeah, that's on eBay, but then nah, Amazon. And then I would make my decision just the same way that I teach in reverse attack marketing. I'd also look down here to see if there's a keyword to work with. And the last little checks I do is I head on over to uh, boardreader.com. This searches all the forums online for conversations, big word conversations people are having typed in my phrase and looked around to see what people were saying about this questions they might have so I can get um, inf ideas for my content for this and last but not least I head on over to Amazon itself and put in that product name and look at what they return the kind of reviews they get price point and then I you know read some reviews see what people had to say and if you follow reverse attack marketing you know exactly what I do next but if you're not a RAM member, then you would just move forward with this in whatever your particular technique is for getting information online. But this is just a really, really uh, neat trick. And especially when you're having a mind block kind of moment where you're like, oh, I don't know what to promote. Well, here you go. If you can't find something <laughs> through all this that the find has, and then popping it into you know a keyword tool like I use love this keyword tool it is web-based meaning I can just sign on to it online anywhere I have access to the internet and for my uh, RAM campaigns I want fast I don't want to be boggled by all kinds of input I it, it, reverse attack marketing is about speed about getting things out there and you learn from getting it out there instead of trying to guess <laughs> what's going to work and what's not going to work you get a little RAM test and then a small RAM campaign out there and you can see with your own eyes what's going to work for you and what deserves you to spend more of your most valuable asset which is your time so that's my idea for today I hope that it helps and that you run with it I'll link to everything I mentioned in this video uh, below the video. Have a great day!